welcome to 8-Bit Vacations. Today's quest is going to bring us out to Monroe, North Carolina for a haunt that I have never done before. And it looks like a lot of fun, so I'm pumped up for it. That haunt is 13th Acre. I don't really know much about it because as I said, I've never been here before, but they've been gracious enough to invite us out, give us some tickets, and let us go in here and video. So let's go have some fun. It's worth noting that they have a kids event over here. I saw some pumpkins and some things for the little ones to enjoy. All right, we're waiting for security to open up and to get our tickets right here from the booth. All right, we have our ticket here and we're headed on in. We're headed in actually before everybody else comes in. I don't really know why, but they were like, are you the YouTube guy? I said, yeah. And they said, all right, come on. So here we go. Greeted by this guy. Gentlemen, oh my gosh. Yeah, you got me. Welcome to the 13th Acre. Well, thank you very much. Oh my gosh. Now I gotta clear my heart. You okay? You all right? Your mother sewed socks to the house. Oh, that's not fun. Hey. Hey, again, you. What you got on that, on that hammer there? A, a bowling, bowling pin? Kid. That's pretty I sick. Mean, bagger. Not gonna lie, that is pretty sick. I like it. Check out this awesome yeah. truck they yeah. have here. It's got their name on it. Over here is the phone number if you want to pause it. It's their logo on the door. And this thing hasn't moved since I got here. Well, there we go. Need a lobotomy? Need a what? A lobotomy? Uh, no, I had mine last week. We're the all good. The 13th Acre Asylum. Oh, okay. Need a lobotomy or perhaps some of my serum. What the? You, you feel better? Check <laughs> that. Oh my gosh. The costumes look amazing so far. I think that's where we enter right there. Where it says enter. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's kind of obvious. And over here is the fast pass entrance. I don't really know what I have. I know I have like a ticket. That's about it. I guess we'll figure it out. It's like they've got some concessions here. Right here's the menu. I do want to point out. You are not supposed to video in here, so we got special permission to video in here. So if you want to video, you better talk to management and make sure they know and allow you to do so. We got the restrooms here. We got a DJ going on here. There's a little photo op down there with that truck I showed you earlier. There's axe throwing right over here. And there's another photo op, and here are the two entrances. So that is your midway for 13th Acre. We're about to start. They're not quite ready yet. So as soon as they tell me that they are, we're going to head in and check out what this haunt has to offer. The fear begins here. All right, let's begin. Wow. Our adventure starts right in front of this busted up old school bus, and man, there is nothing creepier than a school bus. We're about to head into Mannequin Manor. There's a quick look at that, and there's a camper over there. That's creepy too, but here we go. Y'all, I'm headed in by myself with no group, and you know how uneasy that feels? I don't know if you do or not. Oh my gosh, the door scared me half to death. Now, oh my gosh, is my word that I say in these haunts all the time. So I'm gonna try to watch saying oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, where am I going? Okay, I gotta go this way. That was really dark. Probably should have turned on my light for that, but I don't wanna ruin it for everybody, you know? There is some graves. All right. Looks like we're headed into the center for disease control. Right there's my door. Here we go. What in the is that? Something in there. Hello? Come here. They need you. Um, they need your body. Well, I will meet them over this way. No. I will meet them over here. Oh my gosh, that was creepy. Whoa. That chased me out of the haunt. <laughs> I love these things, y'all. Independent haunts are so much fun because it's full of people who love and who have a ton of passion with this stuff and they put their heart and soul in it. So it looks like we're about to head up on a hotel here. El Rancho Hotel. Whoa. It's like we've got an inhabitant 
in El Rancho. Oh, I gotta go that way. 1305, wasn't that a horror thing? Alright. I'm trying to balance back and forth between videoing me and the haunt. Oh, that thing is gone. Whoa! Not completely gone. <laughs> what the? Let's go. Let's go. I <laughs> got Oh, man. That was pretty good. That, whoa! Whoa! What are you doing on the ground? Oh, my gosh! What in the saw do you have on your face? Well, I don't know, but I am going to go. I'll tell them when I get out. Yeah, right when we get out. Oh, my gosh. What? What? <laughs> oh my gosh! What the? Okay. <laughs> so that was pretty crazy. The dude laying on the ground had some sort of saw mask on or something like that. It was like the one, the reverse bear trap. You remember that from those movies? And then uh, there was like a doll sitting at the end of it that I didn't think was real. But it was. Imagine that. Imagine that. Something's growling over there. Ooh, are you real? Whoa, you're real. <laughs> Let's just act like that didn't happen. I thought that was real. Oh my gosh. You all, there is a toilet here with a doll head in it. scared. Whoa, that is creepy. There's a painting of two dolls here. Is that it? For the dollhouse thing? Okay. That was pretty sick. Pretty sick. Now we have to go into this trailer here with skulls on the front. Oh man, that is neat. Look at that big skeleton there hands it looks like howling stuff all right let's go hey buddy you shouldn't have got yourself in here Whoa, where do I go okay here. Where's the door? Is this the door? Yep, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm going in by myself, so don't worry that I'm like blinding people or anything with my light. I would never want to do that to anyone. I hear something. There's something on there. Have to go through here? Oh, it looks like I do. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh man, that is a sick character. Let's go though. Ah! What the crap was that? looking at Henry here. Where do I go? This way? Oh my gosh. Well, well, well. Mm. Don's garage. Oh. Are you Don? There's people in these woods, you know. Well, I'm kind of noticing that. 
but I will carry you take on. Take care now. All right, we'll do. You, you too. Good luck with that face thing. Whoa. How do I get? <sighs> It's exhausting to What is that? Get my way! Okay. Will do. A trespasser is what I'm being called right now. What do we do to trespass? We jump What? What the? That was crazy. Chainsaws are so awesome. Now this house has a spider here. And I'm not a fan of spiders. Especially not ones that big. So let's hope I don't have to deal with spiders. Oh, whoa, whoa. Trying to get this camera done. Gave me half a heart attack right there. I don't know why. Uh, what the spider directed. Oh, uh, I am not part of no spiders. Whoa, this floor is really squishy. Feel like feel like you're walking in quicksand. Yeah, there's spot fake spiders and snakes all over here. So, really good if you have that phobia. Oh, what the? <sighs> Heart failure. Okay. That's a nice message there. I guess I gotta go through here. It's either go through here and die or turn around and give up. We're going through here. Oh my. Okay, let's keep it going. <laughs> oh, here's a camper. That's cool. I think we've made it out. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Wow. I had a few really good scares, right? Well, let me calm down and I'll talk to you all about it. Looks like I spoke too soon. We have another one here with flashing lights. I've been hearing people go in screaming because I let them go ahead of me so I wouldn't ruin the experience for them. All right, let's put her on me. Whoa! Okay, okay. That was loud and terrifying. <laughs> Whoa, that was fun. Oh my gosh, there's still more. I called it way too early. Way too early. This place is called the Slaughterhouse. All right. Here goes the Slaughterhouse. Whoa. Hey, hey there. Nice Slaughterhouse you have. Okay. Whoa. I'm selling meat over here. That was scary. I had to walk by a pig dude. After I walked by the pig dude, I had leather face in my face. <laughs> Got me. I don't even know where I'm walking right now. I'm so scared. All right, we still have another house to go to. Oh no, I'm up here. I'm gonna hide. Okay, we're going. We're going. Okay, I'm caught up in the. 
caught up in the facade. Oh man. I like Leatherface a lot. Whoa. Now we're in a skull room. I'm getting caught up in all of this. What was that? Oh. Hey there. Oh, okay, okay, where am I going? Y'all, I'm telling you, doing these haunts and things is exhausting. What was that? Okay. It's corn. I bet everybody says that to that poor guy. Okay. Whoa, I hear some life. What was that? Okay. Is there a real? Oh, there's a thing. Okay. Whoa, now I got one of these laser rings. Is there something behind me? I always freak out that something's behind me. Whoa, whoa, there's something in front of me. Whoa! Down on the ground. Whoa. Okay. See that right there? Let's get out of here. Can't get me out here, right? Alright. Now we got this, so it sounds like Leatherface found him a new victim. Got some laundry. Somebody didn't do their laundry. Get out! Get out! I'm supposed to be Get out! Get out! Uh, Get out! I will. Get out! Okay. 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 We're getting out. Whoa. What is that? What is that? <laughs> hey, sir. How are you, my love? Outstanding. Oh, yeah. it says da. That's creative. All right, let's head into this crazy current clown house. Put it on me a little bit. I don't want to give away everything. Pink <laughs> That was the wrong time to put it on me. Wrong time to put it on me. Keep it moving, you rubbish! I thought you were having an issue. Okay. Okay. When you see all of these scare actors, and you. Oh, oh, okay. I'm getting out. When you see. When you see them hanging from the ceiling, you know something's. and coming up behind you. Which way? Oh, I went the wrong way. I always go the wrong way. I'm supposed to go with that guy? Not you again! I was told to go this way! What? Time to go! Alright, give me a second. We are finished with the 13th acre, at least the haunt part of it. So they allowed me to come back in. Normally you have to, when you finish, you have to leave. But I'm gonna go in and get some more shots and talk to you all about it. That was a fun experience. Like there were a lot of good scare actors in there. They, they put their heart and soul into their character. Holy cow. I mean, how about that clown thing at the end? The dude with the big chainsaw, the girl like up in the ceiling and the puppet guy. Holy cow. That was a lot of fun. All right, we made it out and they let us come back in the midway, like I said, and I wanted to show off these photo ops here. You got a big 13th acre right there, and you got this one with the hole in it that says 13 acres, so you can look like a skeleton that's shackled to a board. 
And then I think I already showed this, but I wanted to show it again because it's pretty cool. It's got a truck over here, and it's all done up with 13th acre. It's like a utility truck. Now, when I am at a haunt, I always like to come up to the midway and just watch the chaos happen. People come up here, they sit down, they eat and stuff, and they got this DJ going and all, and the scare actors. Uh, this magical rectangle. How are you? It's a special place for people. Oh. Okay. I hope that is in a really nice area with a beach. She said there's a special place like for people it's like hot. me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like to see interactions like that. And uh, this clown right here is hilarious. Bowling pin hammer. <laughs> this dude probably scared me more times than any other scare actor in this whole thing. What do you have there? It's loud as heck. You're the craziest, loudest clown I've ever seen in this place. Holy cow. You. It gets me every time. I'm gonna talk to you all about my experience here, but I don't want you to tune out yet because if you walk from here over to here, there's some more stuff to see. So let me tell you what I thought about 13th Acre, but stick around because we're gonna head over there in that direction and see what's over there. And we're back where we started the video. And I just want to talk a little bit more about how much fun that haunt was, y'all. It has got such a cool charm to it. They had a lot of little buildings, which I thought was really cool. Because some of the buildings, you know, you could tell what it was from the front. Some of it you didn't. And it left some sort of, like, left a little mystery to it. You know, you were like, what is this building out here? And what's inside of it? So I really do uh, want to say that I thought that was pretty cool. And like I said before, the scare actors were amazing. I had a lot of jump scares in it. Now, I do also want to say that there is not a whole lot of gore and gruesome stuff in there. Now, there is a little bit of it in there, but it's not, like, packed full, okay? So, um, definitely probably wouldn't bring really young kids out here, but I don't know. It's, it, it's not that gory, and they, it was a lot of fun, to be honest with you. There were a lot of cool uh, sets in there. They, there was one with, like, dolls hanging from the ceiling, and, like... That guy at the very beginning with like the reverse bear trap uh, saw thing on, that dude was rolling around in the floor. So <laughs> I had a good time. This was a good little, uh, a good haunt to come out to. And um, Bonnie was great. And I enjoyed my trip. And while we walk over to the general store area, I want to remind you all, it not, you can't bring cameras in here unless you ask and get approval. And I also want to say thank you to Bonnie and the management of 13th Acre and all the scare actors and everything. I had a blast. So now we're going to head over here and see what's up in the general store area. And I don't know. See what's up. What else is there to say? Here's the prices for everything this year. If you want to pause the video and get a better look at it, you're more than welcome to. Look at this train car here. Is that a caboose? Put in the comments if that's a caboose. I don't know my trains that well. There's a cool little like chair photo op over here, but let's scan around and look at this whole entire area up here. It almost looks like a midway. This place is huge. Next to this old Ford, we have the soda shop. Now, I've never been in there before because obviously this is my first time, but the sign here says that they have ice cream, old fashioned sodas, floats and milkshakes. Peeking through the windows of this soda shop, it looks like it is literally a soda shop. It's not a facade or anything. You see the counter in there? I might go in there and get me something before I head home. But right now, I kind of want to find where I can buy a t-shirt. Because I like to take t-shirts home from these haunts. I found a restaurant up here at Big B's Fries and Burgers. And um, looks like they've got a menu here. If you all want to pause it and check out that menu, you can. It's right there. Here's a better look at that menu. I'm going to scroll down slowly and let you see the prices of things. I don't know if I'll be eating today because I just ate before I came here. The general store looks like a place where I might be able to find a t-shirt. Let's see what the sign says here. It says unique gifts, local products, old-fashioned candy, and toys. I hope they have scary t-shirts as well. But let's head on in here. Look at this door. It's a wooden door. I used to have a doorknob there. 
All right. Look at this wall I found here inside the general store. You got Mike from American Pickers has been here, and you've got Jeff Gordon, the Hacker Hackens boys. I don't know who they are. Animal Planets Restoration Wild. Mike and Frank. There's another Mike again. Stephen Curry? That's Stephen Curry right there. Another Stephen Curry. Marvin Williams used to play on the Hornets. American Idol people. This is pretty sick. So they have All Shucks shirts, which I think that's the Corn Maze. And then they have the one that I want right here. 13th Acre. Check it out. I am heartbroken. They do not have an extra large in the 13th Acre shirt. So I'm going to have to go home without a shirt. But they did say they were getting a new shirt coming in. I think it was a new style. So later on they'll probably have that if you're interested. I don't see any scare actors or anything spooky uh, up here in the upper midway where this area is um, with all the food and the general stores and all. Um, so yeah, you don't have anything to worry about if you're bringing kids, I don't think so. And then, look how cool is this, the apple bin. It's like a silo top or something. They've got drinks and things over there. You can just hang out on this little porch here and have yourself a drink. Now, I don't like to get too close with kids with cameras, but there is a ring toss over here. Um, that kids are playing on and there's a playground area right there called the kitty corral and it's for five years and under and let's just say I, oh there's cornhole too right here i've got a uh three-year-old and um i really do appreciate it when they put age limits on things sometimes because the, the older kids kind of just plow over the younger kids so it's really cool they made that five years and, and under check out this spooky lake here there's nothing really scary about it it's just kind of spooky looking but there's no scare actors or anything up like that up here but this is why I like North Carolina, y'all. It is country enough and city enough. I like getting out in the country like this, seeing lakes and trees, having a little space, you know? Get to see things like this that people do by themselves on their own. They put a lot of hard work into this, and it shows. It's a camper converted into a beverage stand. I'm going to head into this barn here, and I think it's like a petting zoo. And this is open, I think she said, till 11 o'clock. There's Marshmallow, the rabbit, the bunny, rabbit bunny. And this dude's the goat, the goat goat. Greatest of all time goat. Look at this. We just walked through a barn and now we're hit with a bunch of other stuff. There's kids over here playing basketball back there. Some like little, I don't even know what kind of things there are. There's some sort of kennels. It looks like maybe a bird is in here. We'll see what's in there. I think it's a chicken, chicken bird. Is Mr. Ed. Now you're a little bit shorter than Mr. Ed. So I'm feeling like you might be a great big phony. But you're still cool in my book. Oh, it's not Mr. Ed, it's Rosie. Or is it Star? I don't know. Rosie and Star live in this area. Hello, Rosie and or Star. Now I think we're gonna head back on the right side of this area over here. We came we made a big loop around here. I think we're gonna go head that way and see what they have. But check out the corn stalks over here. That's where the maze is. Looks pretty creepy. Bonnie and I were talking a little bit before I came over to this section of uh, the farm here. And she was telling me that she wants to expand and get a little bigger. So next year they might be doing some renovations and uh, might be a little bit bigger of a hunt. But no matter what they do, I hope they never lose that charm that this place has. This is a lot of fun, y'all. Like getting out and getting to walk around at night and go to these haunts and then coming over here to this general store and the soda shop and all. This is a lot of fun. So I hope they keep that charm to it, but it's going to be cool. There's going to be big things in store for 13th Acre for sure. I think I'm going to head up into that train car there and see what's up there. And then I might go over to the soda shop and have me a good old fashioned soda pop. I'm standing on the back of the train car and I wanted to show the slow turn here of how epic this thing is. Look at that. Got some historical artifacts here. Some dolls, tea set right there. This is really, really cool. You don't get to do things like this much, especially at a haunt, right? Here's some antique trains, coal train there. From West Virginia, so I knew all about coal trains. I thought I was coming in here just for a haunt, and now I'm walking in an old train. 
I decided to get my phone out with the flashlight on it and show you the furnace here. That is really cool. Got a pipe heading up there to let all the smoke out. But yeah. There you can see some of those hats a little bit better now. Is that luggage? Looks like it. Here's an old fashioned market area. They're selling pumpkins today. They got big ones over here, small ones over there in that pile, and you can pick you out a pumpkin and come over here and pay for it. And it is time to get me a soda pop or a milkshake. I don't know. Probably should get something a little bit healthier, but you know, haunt calories don't count. Keep that in mind. All right. Look at this. Wow. I mean, like, counter here. There's an old clarinet. It's a nice little building here. And if this place couldn't get any more North Carolina, look what I found in here. It is cheer wine. Cheer wine is such a North Carolina dream. All right, I just got my pumpkin milkshake, and I'm gonna have a seat right here and have my milkshake. Look at this place. It's so old-timey, so sick. All right, we got some old-timey music right, playing on an old-timey radio with my old-timey milkshake. Actually, it's this probably isn't old-timey. This is probably new-timey because they just made it. But the flavor is old-timey. It tastes a lot like pumpkin pie. And I love pumpkin pie, so this was a perfect drink for me. Me running my mouth here. I didn't even point out the sink. Look at this. This is so such an antique. I can't get over this. I really enjoyed that pumpkin milkshake, y'all. Tastes exactly like pumpkin pie, and that's my favorite thing to eat over uh, Thanksgiving. My grandma used to make it, and I used to eat it all up, so that was well worth it. Probably shouldn't eat it for the calories, but you know, I'm not even sorry. That was so good. <laughs> Next time I come here, I do want to try the burgers, though, because the, the milkshakes and things were so good and, like, old-fashioned. I can't imagine the burgers being bad. They have to be good, too, because it's like an old-fashioned thing and cooked by hand, and I, I bet the burgers here are really good. But we're going to try that next time. I am not hungry tonight, and I have a long drive back. And with that, our time at 13th Acre in Monroe, North Carolina, has come to an end. I had a lot of fun. The haunt was really cool. I loved the charm to it. The actors were great. And then I walked over there and got to see a bunch of antique stuff at a soda pop shop and everything. That was really cool too. So I just think this place is generally just a fun place to come. I would say that this area over here is open during non like Halloween time too. So maybe like during spring break and stuff like that. I don't know that for sure. You might want to check the website just to make sure I'm right on that. but. This is cool. I mean, you get to go see some animals and stuff and get to go get chased by chainsaws. What's more fun than that? <laughs> but I hope you all had as good a time as I did. I want to thank Bonnie for having me out here and gifting me those tickets. Uh, it was well worth it, and I would definitely come back. But with that being said, I hope you all had fun, and um, have a good day. Thanks for playing. Bye.